So a while ago, a trailer dropped for the upcoming life simulation game Viva Land. I believe it's being made by the person who made The Sims for multiplayer mod. I don't know if that's true. I might be making that up. <laughs> anyway, they released something called Viva Land Dream House, which is like a build demo for the game. I haven't been paid. They've just gifted it me for free. But they said a condition for me for posting this video is to put a link to the Steam page for Viva Land Dream House in the bio. So technically it's an ad. I wasn't going to be petty and make them pay me to put the link in the bio because I just don't really care. It's not that deep, but technically it's an ad. This isn't a review or anything. It's more so just my initial thoughts of it and seeing what you guys think too. I'm going into it totally blind. So, oh, the map looks pretty to be fair. For those of you, by the way, who didn't see my original video. So Viva Land is due to basically be a multiplayer life simulation game. You can see this small town here. Well, you can actually live here apparently with all of your friends and it's supposed to be kind of like a closed server system. I was really skeptical at first, honestly, for me personally, obviously I'm an incel with no friends. So I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of this game as a person who would rather play it as a single player experience. But if you have friends who play life simulation games, maybe you're friends with other simmers online, maybe you'll enjoy it. Or even a single player, I think it would be nice to build. I wanna build on this lighthouse a lot over here. I'm gonna be brutal with you. I skipped the tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> we see how this goes. I just want to look at the graphics at first. It's very, very pretty. Controls are a little bit intense for me and there seems to be some clipping. I guess like it's not even released yet. So this is just like a very early build, but I actually really like the art style. It looks like a cross between The Sims 4 and Life by You. Like it seems cartoony, but realistic enough. I think the water, I think water always looks weird in video games, especially indie games. I'm assuming it's like a really expensive, tough thing to make water in video games but I think in general guys it looks quite pretty. So one thing I've noticed is that you can place walls like on half tiles which is cool and if you hold down shift it seems that you can place like rebuild like literally anywhere which I think is quite cool. It seems they've got curved walls as well or you can make it nice and windy. Yeah this this game is definitely not optimized for my graphics card. I'm sure they'll work on it though. Anyway it seems like I've messed up because it's saying I'm colliding with my environment. What did I do? Do I build a wall this way instead? I think I do. I'm basically just trying to use like Sims 4 controls, but it's not working. I think the controls, they're not clunky at all, but it's something new to get used to. Oh no, I just, I just turned this into a foundation. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. <laughs> What did I do? Oh look, you can drag walls, that's a lot easier. But I, I wanted to create a foundation. I think I've got to basically convert my entire house into a foundation. Oh look at that, you can even like drag the foundation diagonally. Oh look at that, that's quite in depth. And then, oh do I have to place walls back around it now? I think I do. So it seems like we've got a lot of different roof types, which is interesting. Although again, like call me dumb, I don't know how to make it bigger. <laughs> I don't know. I'm assuming like we don't just put them all along like this. That would be silly. I feel like I'm being dumb, but I've looked at the tutorial and I actually can't work out how to make a roof. <laughs> I want a nice looking roof. Oh, I've worked it out. Okay, you've got to right click it. If you right click it, it comes up with arrows that you can use to drag it. My gosh, honestly, like off screen, I honestly spent about like 10 minutes trying to work that out. That was embarrassing. It does seem like there is like a, a huge level of customization here. It's very intricate. Also, the, okay, the roof seems to click into the house. So it looks like I have to be careful. But then when I bring this out, it's like not, do you know what I mean? Like it's too far from from the from the edge anyways i think i think we made it out alive <laughs> Also, when I try and place a fence close to the stairs, it says it's colliding. So I can't, I don't know how to do that right. Oh, and it seems, guys, there's a color wheel in this game as well. So you can change the swatches of things, which is quite cool. Although I don't know if you can use a color wheel on the carpets. Maybe that's something that will change in the future. You can, however, totally customize your walls in any color, which is quite cool. Now, the reason why, if you're wondering why there's a weird line here, this is technically a wall, but you can turn them invisible so people can walk through them. I think you can do it so that you can change the flooring and the walls separately in different rooms. Anyway, guys, I'm excited for the build mode. Oh, look, there's a little, there's a little search bar. If I type table, well, like, will things, oh, look, there you go. You can search for things. I was thinking of searching for something dirty and seeing what happens, but I won't do that. I fucking hate building bathrooms in any video game I do. So we're building the bathroom first. I'm getting it out of the way. It's saying colliding with wall, but then if I hold 
called shift. I can like shift click it in. Well, that's quite nice. That's big, open and spacious. And yes, by the way, like I'm just building a Sims house and I changed the toilet seat because I, I don't want a green toilet seat. Guys, do you know what kind of toilet seat I want? You know, like those ones from like 10 years ago, which had like the fishes in them. Do you know? No, do you know what I mean? They had like a little coral reef in the toilet seat. <laughs> I really miss those. I really want one. So if I search for mirror, does that mean I can get a nice mirror? Oh, not a mirrored wardrobe. That's a bit much. That's very fancy. It's a little bit big though. Although, oh look, we can resize it. Isn't that nice? Oh, look at that. You could have a really big mirror if you're overcompensating for something. Now, kitchens are always very hit or miss. The only video game I found that does kitchens right is The Sims 4. No other video game is very good at making kitchens, I will be honest. So it looks like you've got to do, I don't know if that's the top bit. See, it's very difficult. See, what if I want two counters, but I want them to face different directions? Like, will it will it work out? Do you know what I mean? Do they? Oh, it's it's it seems like it works. I'm not I'm not sure if I did it right, but I did something. There's different variations. That's always quite cute. Okay, I'm like totally screwing this up. Hopefully, we'll get it right at some point. Go. We can have like a stone top island counter. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Oh, although we need a fridge. Though, see these cabinets. I I don't know if they place together. I told you guys before, like video games just can't do like kitchens. I've never seen a build simulator that does kitchens, at least in a way that's very easy. Again though, it feels like the perfect mix between like kind of realistic and cartoony. Like it's not too much of either. It's like just the right in between. Oh, and the chairs clipped to the table. That's lovely. What about a living room? Oh, look at this nice little corner seat. I say little, it's quite big. Maybe a bit too big. No, bigger is not always better. Sometimes bigger is a little bit invasive. Not that I would know because I've told you guys I'm a top, not a bottom. But look, we can have some quirky corner shelves. That's quite sweet. Oh no, I didn't put a wallpaper in here. <laughs> I thought it looked a bit weird, but I couldn't put my finger on why. Well, now we bloody know. Okay, I feel like the way I've like the way I've done it, it's not a vibe, but we've just got to roll with it, guys. Do they have rugs? I would like a rug. Do. Oh look, they've even got one that's like half like up, if you know what I mean. That's quite realistic, actually. All of my rugs look like that. Although they all seem to be like completely ruffled. So it's constructive criticism. I don't think all of them need to be like totally ruffled and messy. I mean, this one isn't, but most of them are. Feels like if I wanna customize something, I can basically do it. The only thing I will say is I, I want some pre-made bookshelves. Like I'm not wasting my time fitting out every single bookshelf with books. You can do that if you want to, if you wanna have the customization. I'm lazy, so I personally would not like the customization of having to do my own like bookshelves every single time, like stacking books. It's not for me personally, but that's just my opinion on the matter. Okay, this is a shelf because it won't let me put my TV on it. Do we have a TV stand? A console table, is that what we're using? No, it won't, it says colliding. Oh no, there we go, it's working. I think it's because I don't know if it's because I had the grid off or what, it just wasn't working before, but now it is. I like my houses to be very, very gray and chavy. So, oh, I quite like, it's quite cozy, isn't it really? Oh, I forgot about lights, oopsie daisy. Probably need to fit some of these in somewhere. We are going to try and tackle the bedroom now. This is bed so chavy, absolutely love it. We're gonna have a proper nice chav bed. See how much of this thing can we customize? We can customize the headboard in different colors and shades, bed sheets, and obviously the duvet itself. I wonder if they'll introduce like a pattern tool at some point, that would be quite interesting, I think. See, I like this side table, but I think the color swatches are very cursed. It's very much giving tiny living stuff. So it seems, oh, look at that. Yeah, we can, we can change the colors and then you can create presets, I believe, and then copy it. Can you copy it over? Okay, you can make it, there we go. It looks a bit more normal now. Eventually I would like a duplicate tool. I'm assuming we don't have one yet where you can just copy the same one over to make it a lot easier. Also, I'm forgetting you can just like resize things like I was thinking the rugs are too small, but you can literally just make them bigger. How much bigger though? I would like a big one. Bigger is not always better in this situation. I think it is. Yeah, again, I don't know what you guys think about the ruffled ones. I think maybe it's a little bit too much. I like it ruffled. Oh, I like it rough and I like it ruffled. <laughs> but maybe tone down a little bit. Also, it seems like when I turn snapping off, like things still snap a little bit and it's a little bit hard to 
replace certain things. Obviously, it's still like an early build. So this is, this is not some kind of review. This is just like an early teaser into the game. So I'm finding it. Oh, no, guys, look at the beauty. This is very much giving live, laugh, love. I mean, this is basically a live, laugh, love house. So I guess we'll have to roll with it. Oh, we've got cushions. So can I put these on the bed? Because our bed is a little bit cushionless. See, can I put like backboard pillows like this? And then can I put more on top of it? You can't. Like, okay, you kind of can, I believe, like kind of, because the bed's looking like a little bit empty. There we go. They're not touching perfectly. You can't make them touch perfectly because the game freaks out and gets angry at you. But it looks nice from this angle. Very, very good. Oh, look, we can put radiators in all the rooms as well. That's quite realistic. If it was a British house, it would be anyway. So guys, as we know, like I'm not the best builder in the world, but I feel like if you spent some time and effort, you could make a nice looking space. Like obviously I've just rushed it a little bit. No guys, I really do like the art style. You tell me what you think. Honestly, I'm not too sure in terms of like how people in general will like it. I personally really like it because I think it's just like a, a balance between cartoony and realistic. I think it looks quite sweet. It's got like a cozy vibe and no like Satchel Sims is not a builder. So <laughs> you get what you get with me. So it's, I'm just looking through the clutter items. So I'm just looking like, okay, so we've got some towels and things that we can put down. I've been ignoring doing clutter because I couldn't deal with it, but I think we should be trying to give it a go. Also, I want to get a little bit distracted and go to the outside. It seems like we've got like tree tools and things. The tr this tree's very wobbly. <laughs> It's like jelly. Oh, I can make a little forest in my back garden. We got lavender. Oh no, we don't have lavender. Guys, every time I do a build, I always make lavender, but we don't have any today. I'm a little bit upset. If you haven't seen my build videos before, like I always go on a rant about lavender and saving bees because we all need to plant it in our gardens. Just saying. Seems like there's a lot of nice, cute looking things around here, which is always really good. Oh, you can get some vertical things. These go on the wall. Must be placed on a wall in Valley placement on a wall. I don't know. There we, I think it was too big maybe. I would like to see eventually the ability to do things like place it between a foundation and like the upper bit. Oh and we've got a, a path tool here. Create a pathway. Can we make it, oh look we can make it like, like nice and loopy. Can loop right around our little forest. <laughs> How lovely. Oh look at that like you can drag the individual like nodes and you can shift them around. That's pretty cool isn't it? If you want to have like extra level of detail on it. Oh and look you can like shift the inside bits as well. That's quite cool actually. I'm quite impressed. Very interesting. Though the path the path feels very small. Maybe they'll release like a bigger one in an update. I don't know. Or I guess you can make two like this together though I'm not going to bother doing that. Also I feel like there's some clipping issues. Like I can put the curtains on here but I can't place them behind the TV. Maybe I'm being dumb. I don't know. As I said though like absolutely no criticism because it's literally like it's not even out yet. Um, um, this is just like an early playable demo thing. Like it's it's not that deep. I think in general, I am actually quite impressed with the amount of stuff that you can do. And then if we go into our world well, map screen as well, I got distracted because I may or may not have been messaged by a furry on Grindr. Um, I do get messaged by a lot of furries. I don't know why. Maybe I, maybe it's something about me. <laughs> Anyways, this is my little home, my lighthouse. And then the other places I believe can be accessed by other players. And then I don't know how many towns I'm able to create, but you can join a town, enter a town code and join somebody else's, which I think is pretty cool. Although I, I really want to explore this town area, but I know this is just a build demo. But I think it's nice you can create your own home. I'm also hoping that it comes with the ability to like get a pre-made home if you're shit at building like me. <laughs> I'm so sure if I spent like hours and hours and hours, I could have done something very, very nice, but I can't be bothered. I'm just showing you the basics. Guys, show me what, guys, tell me what you think about this. I feel like it's pretty cool. Oh, look, you can place cars in a gap. Oh no, guys, I forgot the garage. I'm sorry. Oh, it's on a little, it's on a little tilt. That's interesting. Do we, it's, oh no, we can't place it on there. I don't know how to place it. <laughs> it's okay. We'll place it on the grass. Not that we need one because we're on an island. But anyway, here is our little car. That's really cute isn't it? We make it pink for Shanice because this will be Shanice's car when we can finally play in my little world properly. So that's really lovely on my cursed little island. I wouldn't like to be secluded on an island because you wouldn't be able to order a Chinese. You wouldn't be able to order a pizza. But I think it's quite cute nevertheless. Guys let me know what you think of the Viva Land Dreamhouse demo. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.